Good morning, my friends. It is Wednesday, April 22nd. It is day 16 in our packet. And today I'm gonna to do something a little different. Today, your first application problem is asking you to solve um, an equation and see what mistakes two different people make. It says Haley and Geo solve 56 plus 85. Geo says the answer is 131. Haley says the answer is 141. Explain whose answer is correct using numbers, pictures, or words. So it is your job to figure out if Haley is correct or if Geo is correct, which means you're going to need to solve it on your own and then explain to me what mistakes they made. So instead of doing that with you, I'm gonna do the second application problem with you. And the second application problem is right here. And it says, to ride the mega mountain roller coaster, riders must be at least 14, 44 inches tall, sorry. Caroline is 57 inches tall. She is 18 inches taller than Addison. How tall is Addison? How many more inches must Addison grow to ride the roller coaster? So what do we start with every time? What do we know? We know riders must be at least 44 inches tall for the roller coaster. We know Caroline is 57 inches tall. So Caroline is 57 inches tall. The roller coaster, you need to be 44 inches tall. Let's think, if you need to be at least 44 inches tall, that means you need to be 44 inches or taller to ride the roller coaster. Can Caroline ride it if she's 57 inches? Is she taller than 44 inches? She is, she can ride the roller coaster. So we also know that Caroline is 18 inches taller than Addison. How tall is Addison? So Caroline, we know is 15 inches tall. We know is 18 inches taller. That means more tall than Addison. Let me put inches in there too. Hmm. How tall is Addison? And I'll just use A for Addison. So we figured out what we know. We know Caroline is 57 inches. We know that she's 18 inches taller than Addison. We know that the roller coaster you need to be 44 inches. Now we go on to what is the question? What are we looking for? Question says, how tall is Addison? Okay, that makes sense to me. I have Addison. I need to figure out how tall is Addison. Okay, so Addison, if Caroline is taller than Addison, Caroline is 57 inches tall. That means Addison is shorter than Caroline. So my line here is shorter. I don't know what it is. I just know that it's shorter. Now, I do know that Caroline is 18 inches taller than Addison, which means this part is 18 inches. So that means then that I have my total is 57 inches. I have one part is 18 inches. So I must be looking for the other part. Go ahead and write down an equation and start to solve it. What equation are we going to use if we're looking for a part? What operation do we want to use? Hmm. I'll do that too. All right, if you're not done writing down the equation, pause here. When you're done, you can hit play again and keep going with us. If you're done, let's keep going. I know that if I'm looking for a part, I wanna be using subtraction. So my equation is going to be 57 inches minus 18 inches equals Addison's height. So let's do this the vertical way, 57, minus 18. Can I do seven minus eight? Gotta unbundle. Seventeen minus eight I can do. Okay, 
57 minus 18 is 39. So Addison is 39 inches tall. Now, I've written my full sentence, but I have a second question. So let's check off. I did how tall is Addison. Now I need to say how many more inches must Addison grow to ride the roller coaster? So 39 inches is less than 44 inches. So can Addison ride the roller coaster? Mm -mm. How much more does she need to grow in order to be able to ride the roller coaster? How should we figure this out? She needs to be 44 inches. She is 39 inches. Hmm. Write down your equation and start solving. Hmm, what equation do I want to use? I can draw it out again. 44 inches to ride the roller coaster. But Addison is 39 inches. Oh, that looks like I need another part, okay. If you're not done writing down your equation and solving the problem, pause here. If you're done, let's check it together. I'm gonna do some subtraction. I'm gonna say 44 inches minus 39 inches equals 37 must grow five more inches to ride the roller coaster. All right, my friends, that was kind of a tricky one, but I think we did a good job on it. Don't forget to send photos of this and of the other application problem, as well as the rest of your math stuff to your teacher, and I'll see you tomorrow. We're almost done with this packet. Hmm.